is Maggie. I'm bringing you an unusual review by Kitchen Aid Cake Mixer. I say unusual because I'm going to use it today as a pounded yam machine. This is also an off label use because it's not listed as one of the uses of this product, but it does work efficiently. So today, even though we have three components here, we're going to be using the spatula component. When it revolves around, it scrapes your pounded yam effectively and mixes it well. I have the anti splatter so that it doesn't spill. And this machine has a lever that helps you take it up or down as you need it. It's also a 10 speed machine. But usually with the pando, you'll be good at two to three speed, right? So this is my African yam. I know that this review is especially useful for my African Americans, you know, African origin who are used to having their original pounded yam. So I will peel the yam and um, a good tip, when you're peeling this yam, make sure you have them in thin slices so that it can cook efficiently and avoid using, putting in the hair so that it doesn't give you lumps. So I will go on now to cook the yam. I cooked yam, so I'm going to scoop it into the bowl and turn it on. You can see it's very well cooked. Set my anti splatter to make sure that um, there's no spill. And I'll start with um, I'll take up the lever so that it sets properly. It's well locked. So I start with the two speed. So gradually I set it up. So right now this is pounding at um, speed 4 I have my spatula to make sure it's um, not sticking around the pot to go I will stop the machine briefly to put the yam together. I want to put my stick into the pot, the water from the yam. This is a preview of the handle yam. You can already see that it's coming out nice. And the good thing with this is that your pando still comes out very hot. So I will add a little bit of water from the from the yam to you know make it um a little bit fluffy. So it depends on you and the consistency. Some people like to eat. Yeah, pounded yam very hard. I like mine in between, so I will just put it on for the last time. So it's all set. So here is our pounded yam, all set and smooth. So I'll just cut it into my, my big bowl for serving.
The beautiful thing about this method is that it's so easy to clean. So here is our pounded yam, all set and smooth. So I'll just cut it into my, my big bowl for serving. The beautiful thing about this method is that it's so easy to clean. And some of you will be wondering, why is she going to eat this pounded yam with? So this is my black soup. It's a bidi delicacy. It's grounded vitally. It's very nutritious. Um, another day for the recipe, but for now you see how I go with my pando. I wish you could join me. <laughs> So this is my pango and I'm going to take some of my green soup. So the recipe can be for another day, but I've made it the native way, blended my pan and bitter leaf very well. So I'm going to wash my hand because we eat with our hands. So I just want to see, you see how fluffy the pan and yam is, and this is real pando. So please join me. Thank you. So this is my pounded yam. Like I said, it's the bitter leaf soup. The recipe is for another day. It's green bitter leaf grounded to make this beautiful soup. It's highly nutritious. So as you can see, it's very fluffy and it's still very hot. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope that my African brothers and sisters will find a new way to eat the real pound of. You can use any type of cake mixer in the um, kitchen aid range. Kitchen, kitchen aid is very, very strong. It's durable. I've had this for like two years now and it's working well. Thank you for watching.